Hello, Master Chia. Hello. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here again in Tao Garden in Thailand. And I would like uh, to share more uh, for Lithuanian people uh, about uh, the Universal Healing Tao system. Uh, maybe you could uh, tell them what is Universal Healing Tao system about? The Tao system is always start from yourself first. And when you can know yourself, the first step is the Tao said, uh, we have five major organs, which hold five major emotional, positive, negative. So when uh, we try to do good, but sometimes in the Tao said, if you don't, so the whole first level of the Tao is you learn how to opening energy and you learn how to do the securing sound, a simple one. So every sound uh, representing one organ and a color and emotional negative and positive. So when you do the sound, you if you and you turn inwardly, for example, the lung, you and you do the lung sound, okay. And when you come down, you turn inwardly and you start to aware that mm, my lungs have some emotional. And now, because you learn that lungs can have negative emotional like sadness, depression, grief. So when you have all these things, it's quite make people down and uh, not feel good. So in the Tao said, now you know that there are one emotional in the lungs we call the positive emotional, like courage, righteous feeling. So now you started to think about righteous, courage, white light in the lung. So in the Tao said, negative are very easy to grow. You don't have to do anything, it grows. Like the weeds, it grows everywhere. But positive, you need to do something. Okay, You need to cultivate, if you want to planting a flower, a vegetable, or fruit in the uh, in the garden, you have to get the wheat out first, okay? If you get wheat all over, you don't have to be get all the wheat out. It's impossible. So you are your vegetable plant who protecting your vegetable plant and you grow the fruit and vegetable. That's all. And now when you grow that, you started to feel that, mm, I feel good, I feel love, I feel joy, I feel happy. Now you started to learn how to cultivate more good virtue energy. Mm -hmm. uh, and the guilty feeling, mm. I think it's um, very hard for the people to release it from the heart. What would be your suggestions? The how guilty is that in the Tao said the first thing, people have to learn how to love themselves. And when they started to love themselves, they will forgive themselves. When they forgive themselves, they have no guilt. You know, when you do something wrong, so that is the past. Now you are continuing to say, oh, I'm so sad, I'm doing something very wrong. So that is past, is past. You have no way to change it. You have no way to go back time, change the time. And uh, that's why we have a lot of movies. People want to go back time and change the time, but we cannot do it, okay? So what we in the Tao say, when you love yourself, forgive yourself. Let go, and now live on your life that in front of you. You have to live on. You have to go on. Now you have mistake, you have the past, and now when you make, when you go on in front of you, now you start, okay, I'm not gonna make the same mistake. That is the whole key. So that's all. And you go on your live and all these things like that, yeah. And uh, I think uh, it's quite important that in the Universal Healing Tao system, we have also the physical exercises like like the Qigong practices, yeah. bamboo hitting, and mm -hmm. the Taoian practices. Uh, it helps to open the channels more and to release all this negative. What are the other benefits of, of these practices? You know, the Qigong is, um, is a movement. And the Tao practice is very emphasized, okay, like the lungs, we are, when we do this lung sound, 
And when you finish the sound, you let go all the sadness, depression, and you're smiling to your lungs, and you feel love, a feel love, feel joy, happiness come into the lung, and feel courage and righteous feeling. So you, you have to let go of the past and grow the good virtue energy. That's all. Okay, you, you you have so much weed over, and what are you going to do? <laughs> you cultivate one piece of land, <laughs> and protecting the one piece of land, and you grow your vegetable, grow your flower, grow your fruit, grow your anything. Okay, so you grow a vegetable. Now you have vegetable, you have flower to see, you're happy. And <laughs> the weed is over everywhere around the whole world, you don't know where to, to get rid of it. So the weed is here to stay. Or we say negative emotional is here to stay. What are you gonna do with it? Live with it and cultivate them. And when you learn how to live with it, cultivate it, now you're good. Mm -hmm. And often these emotions uh, they are stuck in in the body, um, like uh, many emotional stuck in in the belly and the, in the reproductive system. Um, I think it's also why the people are so interested in sexual practices, not only because of, of uh, um, more arousal and and more orgasms, but about uh, because uh, also. Um, these practices helps to uh, release uh, this negative, this tension in the, in the body, in the belly and the lower part of the belly. Because the sexual practice is very one piece of very important part in the Tao. Because sexual energy is the most powerful energy we have. And people, everybody process so much sexual energy when they are young or when they're getting to uh, middle or older like that, they still have a lot of sexual energy. But they don't know what to do with it, so we're wasting all this energy out in a different way. Now, in the Tao said, sexual energy is a creating power. Okay, So when you return the sexual energy up to the brain, it gives you the creating power. You can, you can create your work, put more time in your work, make some creating thing in your in your work and uh, in your life. And now this creating power started to... So when people put the time in the creating power, working on the creating power, creating something, they have no time to think negative because you have no more time. So so that's why, that's why you, when you started to put your energy in the creation part, okay? Don't put your energy in the negative part. Now everything becomes better. Mm. And uh, the practices that you teach, this uh, energetical um, uh, meditations, it's very unique. And uh, mm. the people um, also would like to know how you became a master how you got all this knowledge and practices? That means I, uh, when I'm young, I like all these things. But I have no chance to meet uh, a master that teaching me, okay? And I'm lucky that um, uh, when I in Hong Kong study, and uh, we are talking about this kind of thing, and one, one people on the side because all my all the seven people from Thailand nobody believed that okay and the person next to the table they say hey we all talk about energy and it seems like you don't believe that and you need to to feel it so they say yes so we say oh how about if you come tomorrow we we'll bring you to see my master he can he can show you the energy in this thing but next day, nobody come. <laughs> so I'm the only person there. So when I go to see my master, and the master looked up and up to me, he said, where are the rest of the people? I said, I don't know, master. They, they make appointment to come, but they just don't come, you know? So he said, hmm, interesting. Okay, so he said, you maybe have a karma, you like to do all this kind of thing. No, usually young people don't like this kind of thing. So, uh, Okay, uh, I can teach you. 
So he started to teach me how to do the microcosmic. That's it. And he said, if you go home, and when you feel something, and something happened, and you meditate, and you can come back to tell me what happened. In a sequently, I will teach you more. Okay, and he think that uh, it, it might take me a month or, or a few months like that. And uh, next day I come, he said, why are you come? I said, Master, I practiced whole night and I feel anything moving and all this kind of thing happen. And he said, hey, you say right, you know. And uh, so he very interesting on me that, so he started to teach me. And that's how, and he think that I, seem like I know it. But he said, Master, I never learned this thing, you know. But for me, when I listen to you, it feel like it's so close to me and I and I I just can do it. That's all. And uh, he said, okay. So he continued teaching me, you know. Actually, I have another senior classmate. That means he's the one that bring me to a master. He have the heart I have a hole. So the master saved him. He, he fainted, walked on the street and fainted. It's too hot and faint. And the master saved him and teach him the practice to, to help him to have energy, you know. But he cannot practice higher, you know. So this was your first uh, master, but I know that uh, the Universal Healing Tao system is uh, like a combination uh, of the knowledges that you have got from uh, four different uh, masters. Yeah, the, that means this is the major master, and we, I, I also learned from the Singapore and other master. So each one teach me different, different thing. Okay, so um, uh, healing, is another master teaching me, you know, mm -hmm. and the uh, and healing part have few master because I look at uh, you know in Thailand you have between China and India, so uh, uh, they, they 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 get the the practice and it's in here, and it's very interesting that uh. uh the Indian China, they don't have it. And the Thai people, they are here, they are very interesting because they have developed another different kind of, of themselves. But the inner alchemy, I study from my master. And uh, when I learn, I tell you, it's, it's the formula only. Okay? The formula and they tell me what to do. And if you can tell me your experience, and uh, I teach you again. That's all. So it's a nothing at all. You have to sit, and you have to meditate, and you come back and tell him, tell my master, say, oh, master, master I feel this, I feel that. When I do the fusion, he explain, he give me a formula, explain to me what organ, what emotional, you have to sit and clean them out. That's it. Sometimes you have to sit and sit and clean them out. And... Uh, and you find out a way how to clean them. And uh, so I, when I find a way to understand it and find a way to clean it, and I tell my master, I say, oh, you find your own way, that's good. That is exactly right, that's all. So from the practice, I learn, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, during the retreat, when I was here in Tower Garden, I have shared to Lithuanian people also some feelings, so what I experienced uh, uh, during the practices. And some woman was asking a funny question um, uh, about the woman practices, like like the with, the with the jade egg practice. They asked me, "Oh, Master Chia is a man. <laughs> how can he know how to do this feminine practices?" Yeah. But uh, could you explain how this line came uh, until today? You know, it go back a few thousand years. So at least so many thousand or hundred thousand uh, uh, women practicing it. So that's why the Taoism practice is a knowledge accumulate. That is a whole major part. 
the knowledge accumulate down and passing down like this. And it's not for me now. Uh, I just hardly <laughs> enlighten and know all these things now. So all the knowledge is from the 2000 years, a lot of women practice, the nun practice, and all these things accumulate knowledge now. Okay? And that's how we are, we are, uh, nowadays we, in a way, accumulate so many knowledge from other people, the ancient time, and now we can develop them into a much better way like that. But uh, the masters, they was uh, giving the knowledge to another master, like uh, to, 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 to his um, um, student, like uh, also man, from man to man. It no, was they have women also, because they have Tao lady, many, many Tao dead lady. So that is uh, in the... In the it was also even, masters? Yes. Like in, the, in China, they have... Uh, that, that means they divide out this is their uh, Tao's um, uh, master and this is a, a, the nun, the Tao nun practice, Tao lady. Mm -hmm. So they have actually separate, separate place. And sometimes they, because Tao always like to talk about the sexual energy, sex, a reunion with yourself, reunion with God. So a lot of time they think that they must be the Tao, Tao master and Tao uh, lady. They have sex, you know, because they always talk about this. But later on, they they actually uh, there are one mountain here. This is a Tao lady practice, and the other mountain is a Tao man practice. So they separate, and. Um, and I still, the people think that, hey, when Tao talk about sex, they must be having sex, something like that. Because, uh, yeah, but actually, uh, so the knowledge passing down, and now they started to understand that, hey, Taoism is not only talk about sex. We talk about sexual energy, it's the first step. You don't, we have so much energy in this, from the navel down, we call the Qi Center. So constantly we have so many energy there because all the sexual organ, all the hormone is producing so many sexual energy. And the normal people, they only know that, hey, when I have so much sexual energy, I have to only one way, five way to get out. Okay, so men have to be five way to ejaculation out like that. Women have it, but women are more conserved and more holding in the inwardly. But women also have, uh, have ejaculation. So, so in the Tao study that women can have more, more, more ejaculation than men. So men only have one ejaculation, and that's why the men have to do a lot of practice okay, in order to control themselves and know how to hold not always ejaculation. So that is a whole, whole study. And uh, from, from so many thousand years, they're passing down, they're passing down like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how fast the people can get the results from the practice of universal healing Tao? I get this <laughs> question very often, so I would like you yes. to, to the, hear the whole you. key is the number one, uh, we have to be asked uh, ourselves. Have you bothered by any emotional or a negative thought in yourself? If you have it, in the Tao say, hey, you just have to learn. You just have to learn about the uh, how to handle it. And the Tao is just that. So we don't talk about religious belief and you're unsafe or you are sin and you all go to hell. We don't talk about that. <clears throat> in the Tao's in a Tao concept, everybody come to heaven, <laughs> so <laughs> no problem, okay? All you do is you have a heart want to do good, that's all. You want to do good, when you do something bad, you say, hmm, I don't feel good by doing bad, that's all. So now you know that i doing this, I don't feel good. So nobody is a holy man. A holy man no need to do anything, okay? Is the holy already, okay? So what they come here for? You know, so uh, so everybody come here. We are 
we are inherited the negative and positive. We know good and evil. And now try to do not do any evil and try to balance. That's a whole we call balancing act. That is the Tao practice. So for some it takes <clears throat> it longer, for uh, the other get it <clears throat> faster. Yes. The people when they started to know that hey, I need to cultivate myself, I want to do good. That is the whole simple thing. But if you want to do good, you have to know what you why you have to do good. So that's why the Tao says, okay, listen, your heart have love, joy, happiness, and have hatred. Now, impatience, hastiness, cruelty, that is a negative emotional. We don't want to have it. We want to cultivate love. And, and you cannot get rid of the negative. No way. You only can balance it. Okay? You're doing something good to balance it with the negative. Because ne negative is here to stay. <laughs> mm -hmm. You cannot get rid of it. Yeah. And if we dig a little bit deeper, like in dark room, when we sit in darkness, we can find again something. Always, <laughs> you're going to find something. <laughs> Thank you for this conversation. Thank you. <laughs>